Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with my next video in the Lapis collection, I guess is what we're calling it. <laughs> but we're going to make um, a necklace using this pendant today. And um, I also have this one out because I think I want to cut some of these bells off of the bottom and put them on here. And before you yell at me, yes, I know this is a vintage piece and it should stay together, but the bells don't match anyway. So either they've been replaced over time or somebody just didn't care when they put this together. And I can always hang something else from it. So um, I'm going to cut those off. I have some smaller star cut beads on the last necklace I made. I used larger ones um, that Ebony told me she gave me thank you again Ebony um, and uh, so I have some of these little star cut beads these are I want to say eight millimeter I don't know like a small eight millimeter um, I have some little silver African beads these came off of a necklace recycle one of those coral ones I have some um, smaller cut lapis one of these the larger one came from Sam speed box and then one came from I think bargain bee box but I'm not 100% sure on that and then I have um, some of these got them in an eBay haul and this I got in Tucson um, so I'm using I'm cutting it apart I'm gonna be using all these big beads and these as spacers so come along with me while I create this beautiful necklace. It's already created in my brain, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna cut off, I already know, and I'm not, I'm not gonna damage the ring up here. I'm not gonna damage this ring. I'm just gonna cut these guys off. Okay, so I've got my four bells, and then I'll find some jump rings to put those on. And those are cute. And then um, these are gonna probably go up here. I want this to be a little bit longer than the goddess necklace. I tried the goddess necklace on. It's like the perfect length, but f just to like lay below my collarbones. And I wanted it to be longer. So I'm gonna add some chain to the back, um, like in a temporary fix using just extra clasps. So I don't have to restring anything. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to put these here. I'm, I have more of these off to the side if I need them. I'm definitely going to be making a matching bracelet for this using some of those too. Um, so it'll help me with my stack. And let's see. Oh, I want to cut this open. So I have these larger beads. Aren't these gorgeous? Love, love, love those. And then a bunch of spacers and then some smaller ones. So this actually I thought was going to have smaller beads on it and just be a, a more dainty necklace, but I'm liking that it's being chunkier now that I'm adding in more beads. So, okay. I don't know how many of these I'm going to use. I think I'm going to finish off the back with those because um, it'll just be easier and they'll take up a lot of space. And obviously I already know what they look like like that. However... These are on cord, so it might look a little bit different on wire because unfortunately these have small holes, so I can't do cord for this necklace. So I have a big pile of those. There are many more where that came from because I bought a bunch of those necklaces. Um, all right, let's get let's get making. I'm gonna put one of these on the board because it's the same tone as the rest of the metal that I'm using. I'm trying to find a matching some matching jump rings, but I don't know if I'm gonna be that lucky today. I might have used them all. Let's see if gunmetal looks okay. Is that too tiny? I don't like the gunmetal. Okay, I can't believe I don't have any. I know I had them at one point, but I don't think I have them anymore. I'm going to use shiny metal. Hopefully, they'll just tarnish over time. Oh my gosh, it just doesn't look good. Mmm, it makes me sad. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, I have one in here, two in here. They're a bit large. 
But we have to get creative when we need what need something we don't have. <gasps> Would you look at that? I looked again. You always got to look twice. Now you know me. I'm going to go order these. I'll never need them again, but i am got to go order 75 different sizes because maybe I'll run out once. Because <laughs> I almost didn't have them, but I actually did have them, but I almost didn't. So that's how my brain works. I know it's wrong, but that's how it works. Okay. That was a little scary. Now they're not even the right tone, but I don't even care. They're so much better than the other ones. I know some of you are probably rolling your eyes, but it is what it is. All right, love it, so cute. Gotta save these little babies, put them right back where I found them. Actually, I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna need them later. <laughs> okay, well, and we're gonna need it to hang one of these, so I'm just gonna leave them on the desk, but they will go in the right spot. Um, okay, so I think these will go in the back. Actually, I don't even know if I'll need those because we're going to be using these silver uh, pieces. Set the clasp aside. And then I'm just going to figure out which beads I want where. I do want this mostly symmetrical. I don't really want to do it asymmetrical this time. Okay. So let's see. And I think I have some more of these, but not maybe this size. Um, for a bracelet if I want. All right. I'm not sure I want these big ones in there. I might want to save one for a bracelet. But I'm, I'm just not sure. Maybe I want to hang it from here. That could be a possibility. Or I could hang it from here. That could be a possibility. But I'm thinking I want to save. I don't have any more of this size. Um, I have four more of these. Actually, they're not even the same size, are they? Nope. I don't think it really matters if they're all exactly the same. So they're very close to those. So, no, do I want that one? Not that one. Nope, these big ones are going away. I think I really like having this one down in the front. I'm almost positive that's what I'm gonna do, but I am gonna cut this open to get these two beads to have on the other side of those too. And this has actually got a lot more metal in it than I thought it was going to have, but I'm loving it. And I'm sorry you can't see the pendant, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, and then I'm gonna slip in my lapis, because obviously we have to get some lapis in there. This would be good knotted but again like I said at the beginning like I don't have enough room inside of these for cord and these holes are too big and we all know what trouble I went through that one time the holes were too big so we're not gonna do that today Drive anybody else nuts when their dog like either licks or um, makes noise with their mouth. Like I love Goldie to death, but when she just starts like smacking her lips, I want to die. <laughs> I want to cry my eyes out. But that's also called misophonia, so it's not her fault. 
Okay, here we go. Now, um, I have to decide, do I want spacers between each piece or not? So I'm gonna get, I could do this on uh, Eslon, but I want it to be a little stronger than that. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm going to use here. Oh, all I have for silver is this 49 strand or some seven strand. And I don't trust seven strand to necklaces. So I guess it looks like we're using 49 strand today. All right. I'll have to get some more. So I'm going to kind of test to see what it looks like. And then I'll be putting the, uh, once I get this strung up the sides, I'll put putting more of the spacers. I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I like the silver in the middle or if I like, like, would that be too much metal? And then up the back we're doing, oh, I don't know. Cause up the back it's all gonna be metal too. Like I kinda like the rough look of no metal in the middle of the beads, but I also like how this looks. But if we're looking at the pendant, there are silver lines between the pieces of lapis. So I think we are going to mirror that by putting the silver lines between each other, or the other pieces of lapis. Just kind of take a design nod from your piece and it'll tell you what to do <laughs> eventually, if you're paying attention. All right, I think this is gonna be not the easiest necklace because a lot of hollow beads. There we go. Let's check to see if we still like the silver. Yeah, I love it. This is really pretty. Gorgeous. Isn't it just wonderful that all these beads came into my collection at different times and then boom, they all come together at the right time to make a necklace. Blows my mind. <laughs> So I have a couple choices coming around to how I am going to hang my pendant. Oops. And one is that I come down through my bead. This is going to be extremely difficult though. Come down through my bead, grab on back up through the bead and then I say extremely difficult because it is hollow but then I just went right through it really easily the first time so maybe the second time won't be as bad huh I did it and let's just see how it looks I don't quite like it let's see how this comes back down Oh, I like that. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Now, the issue becomes, it's hard to pull the string and make it long like that. So I really gotta finagle it into where I need it to be. Because, so I just, I kind of have a lot going on in the back and then I can always cut off the other end. Here we go. I don't think it would be that long, but 
better safe than sorry, I always say. Okay, I just want to make sure it looks good. Oh yeah, I love that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay, I'm gonna string the rest. So here we go. I love, love, love it. It may actually made it a little bit longer than I originally wanted, but I, I really, I tested it out, made sure that it's the length I want, and I'm actually gonna probably put an extender on the back just in case I wanna make it a little bit longer later on. But isn't this so fun and beautiful? I love it. If old beads aren't your thing, I can understand why you might not like it, but they are definitely my thing. And I already have like three or four bracelets in my brain that are trying to get out while I'm making this. So let's um, let's crimp this so I can move on to the bracelets. Um, let me find crimp beads. I don't have like this muted silver in crimp beads or crimp covers, so it doesn't really matter. They're behind my neck and nobody will see them. I am actually gonna use my magic crimping pliers from Softflex. I am just going to crimp right onto my clasp. I'm just trying to figure out which side is which. Okay, so this is the right side. So I'll grab a crimp tube, my clasp, come down through some of these beads and the thing is like the way that this is strung I don't I can't like move everything down without interrupting or bothering some of the the way it's strung so I'm just gonna kind of come down through a couple of these beads here should make sure that this works and I broke my nail <clears throat> and it broke my nail <laughs> actually this doesn't work like it opens that way but the back of the clasp is too tiny where are the rest of them okay, I'm gonna change out the clasp uh, you guys won't believe I just found some of these jump rings that match the clasps in with the clasps and I wasn't paying attention earlier so we had all that drama for no reason um, but they were tinier than the ones I ended up using on the necklace. My crimp bead got moved down too, so I'm going to kind of try and get that out. It's in my, stuck in my spacers. What I'm going to do is, so that doesn't happen again, and so I don't have any issues, is put one of these tiny lapis beads on the end. Then my crimp. And then my new class, because this one's not the greatest. All right. Second time's a charm. The other issue is it's not going right back. It's not going to go through that lapis a second time uh, because those beads are so tiny. The holes are teeny micro. Just teeny tiny. Okay. We're good. Make sure there aren't any gaps. There we go. And we'll use our magic crimping tool. cute little silver ball and I'm just gonna cut real close to that so we can't see our cord anymore our wire I 
There we go. So that's that end. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other end. And now we have our, well, what is our third necklace, but the second one you've seen because I made one off camera. Very simple one that I didn't think needed to be filmed, but it will be when I'm finished making jewelry for this collection, it'll be in that collection. So, oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. So happy, I might clean that. Oh, I don't think I can, but oh, I love it. I'm so happy with it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and then I'm gonna do the bracelets. So one, I want to have three of these. I know this is killing me, but I, I think I really want these three on the front of it. And then one, I want to have just one of these. The, of course, I'm not gonna wear these all at the same time, but I would like to have options. One, I want to have the this and then these two on the side, I think. Getting better at just cutting the beads open. Just do it. And then I think I might want to get out some African glass. I got to see if I have anything that would match. I know I checked and I don't think I saw anything, but I, I just, I want to check again. I want to check again with some fresh eyes. So, um, and then possibly just one with one of these and a bunch of silver. So I'll be right back. So the blue that I have is not the, quite the blue I wanted. However, I think it looks okay. Yeah, it looks fine with the necklace. But I think it might be too big for the bracelets that I want, unless these were the focals. So I'm going to put those aside just for a moment. Um, this blue is not right. It's got like a baby blue in there, like a turquoise in there. So I'm not going to do those. Um, I pulled these up. This is more like cobalt than lapis. So um, it's not really showing up on the screen, but that's not exactly what I'm going for. Got these out, but again, more cobalty in case I need them. I had some roller beads. These are close to the right color. It's more navy. Um, got found these bone beads. We'll probably be using some of these though because I think they look great. Yeah, actually, I think those would look really good with this three piece and then um, like these three. And um, I'm gonna find some saucers. I'm trying to think where those would be. If I have them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll have to look. This is turning into an ordeal, but I'm gonna really love this set. And then I found these lapis. So I don't know if this is all lapis though. But we've got some good choices in here. Just put those to the side. So I know at least I'm going to be doing that one. Um, these three, I think we'll do with these. I don't know. They're not all the same size. Those two are the same size. Maybe you can just do it like descending order or something. Uh, I don't know. Five that size. I think it's like 10 millimeter or 11 millimeter for this size. And then some babies. And then some big ones. <laughs> so. Anyway, we'll figure it out. I'm getting there. I really like these with these. Um, these are not lapis, but I used them in that other video, so they might be able to fill in with those. Yeah, I think we can fill it like towards around the back, like mix them in a little bit, so that'll be good. And so that's two. This one I kind of want to just do all silver around it. I might find some other beads that work. I 
actually I have some of these left over, which would work. I just, I think I have what, four of those. So that'll work with these. And that's three bracelets. We'll see if I need to make anything with this or these. Asking you shall receive. I found these saucers out of nowhere in my drawer. Super excited about those. And um, I found a whole bunch of other metal beads that may work. Um, these came from Mama Bruce. And then I have some others for future videos. So I'm gonna set these aside. The first one I'm just gonna go in and do is this one because I know I'm just gonna do these three beads and um, some bone beads. And where did I put my bead stringing needle because this will be very helpful. We have some big holes that will go on the needle pretty easily. There we go. All right, so. Actually, I'm gonna start. Funny, I just had this through here and then I took it off. There we go. So I'm just testing to see if I like, um, yeah, that is cool. Okay. So then we will go ahead and open up the bone beads. Pile those on. Love it! This is gonna be pretty. When I get these gorgeous old beads, I don't want complicated because I want to be able to focus on the bead. Now, if I did too much, put crystals, things like that, it might be pretty, but it's gonna detract from these really gorgeous statement beads. I'm gonna get out my one millimeter stretch cord. I don't know how much I need, so I'm just gonna put it on the, keep it on the roll. I don't know if I have enough beads on here. If not, I can always add more. are wonderful when it comes to the hollow beads. It's so hard to string those on stretch cord. At least for me, if you have an easy time, I'm happy for you because I can't do it most of the time. <laughs> I get so frustrated. I'm very patient, but when it comes to hollow beads, I can get pretty, pretty dang upset sometimes. Okay, I'm going to try this on my wrist. One or two. Okay. So I am going to tie, I actually want to stretch first. Stretch. And then we're going to do three knots. Well, one, two, and three. And then I'll grab my glue. And dab both sides of that knot trim and then put it in one of the beads. Okay. 
Some people have told me that they don't use glue at all and that more power to you. This is the way that I learned and this is the way that's worked for me for five or six years. So I'm not gonna stop <laughs> anytime soon. All right, so I can go ahead and snip. Move that into my little saucer. And there's our first bracelet. Simple but gorgeous and rustic and, sorry, my other bracelets cut into my hand, but looks gorgeous. Very lightweight too, because the bone and these hollow beads, love it. All right, perfect match for our necklace. Next, I feel like Frau Forbissena in Austin Powers. Next! <laughs> um, all right, we're gonna go with this one next. I know I just did like the same bracelet, but maybe sometimes I want just one bead instead of three. Um, and actually what I'm gonna do on this one is all silver. There isn't gonna be any, besides the blue on this bead, there isn't gonna be any other blue. So I'm gonna put these on. This. So they'll be great stacked together. Oh no, okay. Might have to grab a different one of these. He doesn't like that. gonna find a bunch of these guys from the necklace that I took apart um, the original necklace I took apart I'm looking for that one I wanted to match there we go and we'll just stick them all on my my needle here kind of just take them off and put them on the same way it's a lot easier literally save myself 30 minutes <laughs> by using that instead of doing it by hand. Uh, and then now I just need to test out the length and add and not add more beads, but I want to add from the other side because I want to hide the knot in that bead. So there we go. Okay. I'm going to stretch. Uh, see okay so this happened in one of the other bracelets I made if you're knotting between thin beads like that the knot tends to end up knotting the beads and not just the wire I know I just said the word knot a ton of times so we're gonna put it between two of those beads so we don't have run into that issue Glue or not. There's something wrong with this knot. You can just tell by looking at it from how many of these I've done. It just it doesn't look right. I feel like it's gonna come undone because it's, it's too big, it's way too big. It's just not tight enough. Like I shouldn't be able to just do that and get the knot to come apart. So you can see some of the issues we run into. We'll just do it again. I don't know why that happens. Um, I'm sure I could probably figure it out, but we're just gonna do it again. Maybe I just did it too fast. 
but I'm glad I caught it before I tried gluing it together and then snipping the cords and then we have to restring completely. So I'll show you what it looks like now. Uh, yeah, there's something going on here. I don't, I don't know what. All right, yeah, that one looks a lot better. It's much smaller. And we're getting stuck inside these beads. Some glue on there. This, this knot really wants to be inside that bead, so we're gonna let it. Just gotta get that trimmed. Okay. There we go. Super cute. Not lightweight. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's not lightweight like our bone one was. But don't those look so fantastic together? <gasps> I love them. Oh my gosh. So there's two. I love them. Okay, so how are we gonna do three? So uh, this one, we're gonna do these three together. And I, like I said, I don't know if I'd wear these together or not, but this is just about my creativity getting out there, right? Okay, so we're gonna do one, two, I, what did I have? Four of these larger. Five. These big ones I'm going to wait till later on. We're not going to be using those right now. I have six. No, this one's just a tiny smidge bigger. So we have four of those, five of these. I'm gonna take one out. This one's a little bit brighter, so I'll take it out. And then um, the rest we're gonna use these that say lapis, but aren't, <laughs> I don't know what they are. They could be, but they really just look like they're dyed stone. Not bad because it's the color we need, right? So um, I'm gonna have to actually string these because uh, these holes are too small for this bead. Um, this elastic cord needle, however, I will just string these. Like that. By my elastic cord. Today I'm using Stretch Magic because I had some left over. Oops, I got clipped down to the bead. Okay, there we go. And then um, we'll go Right to be right up in the front. Okay, and I'm gonna snip this off the roll so I can do the other side to match. And then the rest will just be these solid blue. This is in the series necklace three and bracelets three through five so far. 
been a productive little Brittany in the last three or four days. I like this. Hopefully I can do this, you know, at least once a month. I have so many different ideas for charcuterie boards. Like I have all this shell stuff that I want to do. And I just, it's the time. Like, fortunately I have a job that allows me to afford some beads, but unfortunately I have to go there <laughs> instead of playing with the beads. Oh, the things we do for beads. I'm going to test that. That is gorgeous. I'm going to test that out on my wrist. Thinking a couple more of these because this is these are chunkier beads than the other bracelets. All right, stretch. I know you all know how to make a stretch bracelet by now, but I still enjoy making them. I think you guys enjoy seeing me design them. Okay. big but I can always change it if I want to but like I said the chunkier beads you have to use more beads you have to make them longer because the circumference it won't go normal six or seven or whatever size bracelet you wear those inches won't go around the same way that they would with smaller beads all right so we will trim this slide that into my hollow bead yeah and it moves around a little bit but we're good we're good so um, hello look at these bracelets together so cute if I wanted to I could flip this one all the way around and it'd be just silver or this one all the way around it'd be just blue these are the right size it's just with three of them on it's a little have a bit of a hot mess um, I think I'm going to stick with just three. I think I really, really love these three. I don't want to just make a bracelet to make a bracelet. I want it to make sense. So you can hear my neighbor driving up. <laughs> um, yeah, I am enamored with this set. Thank you so much for sticking in there with me. Um, let me know what you think. This is so much more than I envis envisioned when I started this project. And I'm so happy. I think this is my favorite one yet. Um, I think I'm going to say that each time, but these are so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for Goldie because she's super, super cute. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Good girl. I'm just hanging out with your mom, huh? Yeah. You're just hanging out with mommy. Yeah, you're a good girl. Oh, you got a hair on your nose. Okay. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. You 
such a sweetie. Yes, he's such a sweetie. Oh, okay. 